Here we are reviewing the OG Friday the 13th, and granted my math is off, but it's kind of placed somewhere in the middle. Now, obviously, because there's a lot of merit to be had in this film, now, I suppose this is a good time to really talk about Sean Cunningham, and part of the reason why I give so much leniency to the Friday the 13th franchise as a whole, where most other producers and and anyone else, whenever they make a film and someone says, oh, you're just ripping off that, you know, I love that Sean Cunningham, unlike any other producer, every other producer would deny it under the sun. I love that Sean S. Cunningham says, Halloween was popular. We gotta rip that shit off. And that was the beginning of Friday the 13th. I even love that Sean S. Cunningham just took out a full page ad in Variety uh, with the title. Didn't even have the story for the movie. He That's where he hired uh, Victor Merrill to write that script. It's kind of brilliant. And frankly, it's a whole study in marketing of how marketing alone is enough to sell a movie and god bless it because really yeah were it not for all these little aspects to it Friday 13th would be on the whole pretty forgettable even as a whodunit it's lacking because uh the person who it turns out to be is a person who you meet right then and there it's like who the hell else could it have been so i don't know if it was ever his intention to make it into a whodunit I don't know, but the one thing that at least can be said for is that for a movie that you have all these people saying, oh, this is a piece of shit, we're just doing this for the money, and some people are even doing it to survive, Kevin Bacon, it is amazing that all these elements came together to actually make a film that has become so beloved. And there is a lot of stuff I do thoroughly enjoy about it. Of course, the big thing is the work by Tom Savini, the trailblazing work by Tom Savini. The effects he did in this, he would carry over into a bunch of other ones. In fact, actually, uh, Kevin Bacon's Kill, uh, he took that over into the burning uh, with the Big Raft uh, Massacre. So there is a lot of trailblazing stuff in this movie. Uh, but with that being said, I will say it's not the best of the series, but there's a lot of things that do elevate it. I'll definitely say another one is Betsy Palmer. Uh, for a woman who did this part specifically so she can get her car fixed, she gave 110%, and she has actually has one of my favorite lines in the franchise. Look what you did to him! And she does such an amazing job in that sequence. And the final showdown between Alice and Mrs. Voorhees is great. There is a lot of memorable stuff in here. But much like any first episode of any TV show, all the clear elements aren't there. But it is still entertaining, and it is still a trailblazer. So...